Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to look at some of the weapon changes the new expansion brings. This video will feature the hunting horn and the hammer. The hunting horn, although one of my favourites, is the least used weapon in world. So for it to see some much needed love in the expansion is really encouraging. I would love to see more people try this weapon out, as it's really a lot of fun and it's just getting better in Iceborne. Like all the weapons, Hunting Horn has its own clutch claw animation. Its weapon attack softens the hide of a monster, exposing a weak point where you and your team will deal increased damage. I love the animation of this skill. You also have the flint shot skill, which every weapon has, that will send the monster in the direction it's facing. We have new information added to the weapon manual. There are new commands for utilising the clutch claw and the slinger ammo. We also have a new skill called echo attack. This is not only a new attack, but provides an additional song note. These songs leave bubbles on the ground which both you and your team can stand in to gain benefits. We only had access to one hunting horn in the beta, the Anjanath Hum. This new horn has the same song effects as the Tarth Pipe Sleep and is able to use two of the new echo buffs. The impact echo wave sends out a damaging sound wave which can stun a monster. Excellent for allowing opportunities for massive damage. Extended health recovery. When I first used this, I thought it was like a health booster, but the effect actually follows your character, so it's even more useful. I would liken it to the Valhazak set bonus super recovery. I am curious if both of these would stack, it could be some insane recovery. Incredibly useful for teammates, especially for those who have long sheathing animations. The weapon manual shows us more of the new Echo Song effects. Speed boost and evade window up. This will increase everyone's evade window, which is basically adding extra invulnerability frames to people's dodging skills. The performer also gets a speed boost. This sounds like only the hunting horn user will get the speed boost, and it's not clear what speed it's boosting. It could be movement or attack animations. Extended health recovery, which I've already covered. Maximum stamina up and recovery increases your maximum stamina for a period of time. Again, this tooltip lacks information. This could allow players to recover stamina bar like when you eat a well done steak or a ration, or it could be increasing the actual maximum stamina bar like the Lanastra set bonus currently in game. Elemental effectiveness up, increase elemental resistance and elemental attack. This will stack with any other songs which give a similar effect. This could really rack up the damage on elemental based weapons and encourage more people to break away from the raw only builds. Impact Echo Wave, I covered this one earlier. Echo Wave Dragon, sends out an echo wave capable of dealing dragon elemental damage to a monster. These next melody effects are ones already in the game. Some have been upgraded to cater to the cold environment. Like Muck Water Deep Snow Resist, preventing movement impairment in snow. Environmental damage negation, now being applied to the cold. I feel Hunting Horn is sitting in a nice place at the moment and has a lot to offer both groups and solo play. The Hammer's new moves are much more focused around the Clutch Claw and Slinger ammo. Like all weapons, Hammer has the ability to perform flint shots to send monsters reeling. You can change the monsters facing by using the Claw attack. Here is the hammer's clutch claw weapon attack. It feels very satisfying to use. Like the hunting horn, the hammer's attack also softens the monster to create a weak spot to deal more damage. The hammer has been given the ability to use slinger ammo while charging up attacks. Capcom have also integrated the clutch claw into attack combos, so you can do your charged attacks and finish up with a claw attack to the head to build up that KO meter as well as doing some nice damage. Even if the monster suddenly moves, you can still use the clutch call right after to spin into the monster and deal some damage, as well as closing the gap. These new skills will help target the head more often, enhancing the hammer's ability to KO monsters, which is incredibly useful. Although these changes are more subtle than the hunting horn, they do synergize well with the hammer's existing charge skills and doesn't overcomplicate the weapon. Overall, I like the changes to both the hunting horn and the hammer. Surely with all these new buffs we will see more people wanting to try out the hunting horn. It's been last place for weapon usage for too long with only 1% of hunters using it. The buffs are amazing. It's like giving people extra armor set bonuses and it helps everyone to perform better. 
It was good before the expansion and even better in Iceborne. The rest of the weapon overviews are coming so please be sure to check them out as they drop. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing and I'll see you next time.